Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, we learn about the essential parts of a filter. For example, what is the right way to select the data? What are the different filter types? And how do you perform mathematical calculations on a filter data set? First, while choosing the data set, ensure that you do not just choose the header and then apply filter. If you do that, that's wrong. Why? Because the data beyond the first blank row will not be taken into account. Your filter will be faulty. The right way would be to choose the entire data set and then apply filter. For example, in this data set, I am choosing just the header and then I'll be going to data tabs, filter button. Once I apply filter, I get to see the filter buttons on the header. Now let me click on the divisions filter and all I see is CDFD and HFD, just two divisions. I don't see the name of RAD, ED and RDD and so on. So the lesson here is choose the data set correctly and then you can apply the filter correctly. Next, let me show you why do we need to use subtotal functions for filter calculations. First, I delete the blank row. Then I'll be choosing the entire data set using shift control right and shift control down. If I've chosen extra, you can go back by pressing shift control up. I hope you remember pressing control backspace to go to the header. Once done, I quickly apply filter. Then let's say I choose division and I only choose AD in that. I can see there are four names. Now, now I wish to compute the total of base salary in this given cell. By any chance, if you apply some function and choose the data set, the answer will be wrong. You can see that from the numbers. The reason is sum, max, min, average. All these functions that you use on a day-to-day -day basis computes the data for the rows which are hidden because of filter. So now your question should be what should be used? Well, you need to use a subtotal function. There are two ways to bring it on screen. First, the shortcut key Alt equal to, and the second is the auto sum button. If I place my cursor at the bottom, and then I press Alt equal to, notice it brings automatically a subtotal function, a digit nine, which signifies sum. You can quickly delete that, and you can see the drop down list stating nine is for sum, one is for average and four is for max. For now, I continue to use nine. Then it has picked up the data range automatically, but I would still insist that you check this once again. So your header is in the third row, which means fourth should be the starting point. You're writing the formula in the 65th row, which means the last data is the 64th row. Now, if I press enter, notice the answer is correct and it is picking up only those values which are part of the filtered data set. The alternative is you can go to formulas tab and click on this auto sum function. It will have the same effect as the shortcut key alt equal to. So in short, use subtotal function for filter calculations. Next, what are the different types of filter available to you? First, you have the date filter. You have even more options once you go deeper inside the sub options. Next, you'll have options such as between Next, you'll have a text filter and finally you'll have number filter. Let me show you a quick demo of all these three. First, let me go to data tab and click on clear button. This will ensure all the filters that were applied have been cleared and you can start again. First, I go to the date filter. I click on the button of filter of the date of joining. You can choose from the checkbox manually or you can go to date filters. The popular ones are between and all dates in period. Now some of the previous versions of Excel may not have this option, but if you choose January right now, it'll show you all the people who joined in January of any given year. Similarly, you can go to date filters and choose between. Now you have a date calendar in the later versions where you can choose that between a given date to a given date, how many people join. Of course, you would want to manipulate the year in our case because our data pertains to 2014, 15 and 16. So I'll write 15 and I'll write here 16. Okay, there you go. Next, I'll again clear the filter. 
now i will go to the text filter so i can choose the text filter manually or else i can go to search box and type in ad so all the text containing ad will be shown automatically you can even go inside the text filter and choose to use contains so based on different logics you can use begins with ends with or may go inside custom filter where you have even more drop down options like these next i'll show you number filters so i go to base salary i go to number filters and i see options which are different than the text filter such as top 10 above average below average so if i choose top 10 i can also make this top 5 which means all the top 5 numbers will be shown in the given filter remember if you ever wish to do any mathematical computation either use alt equal to or you would go to formula and click on auto sum in this case average would be wrong so you have to pick up auto sum and make sure 9 is replaced by the digit 1 enter that's the correct average once your work is done you may want to apply data and then click on clear filter so we saw three different types of filter and we also saw how to use the search box of the filter and at later stages you may want to explore how to use sort by color the color could be that of font or that of a cell so in short we learned good deal about filters that is how to choose the data set correctly use subtotal functions for filter calculations what are the different three types of filter and of course to use search box and filter by color